Hi everyone, welcome to my green closet. Today I'm gonna to share with you the pieces in my spring capsule wardrobe. Now previously I've done a combined spring summer capsule wardrobe for the last, I believe, two or three years. And this year I've decided to split them up again and I'll explain a bit more about why I decided to do that. But for now, let's jump right into the pieces. So first up are my teas and tanks and I always keep these pretty neutral in my capsule wardrobe. I have a plain black tank top and then this crop top t-shirt. Now this is a new piece to my wardrobe. It's from Anne Muller and it is part of their zero waste collection. This is a way for them to use up their fabric scraps and it makes for a great sustainable initiative but also kind of a unique design with this patchwork pattern. It'll be great for spring but I also think that the boxy cut and crop style is going to be especially nice in the summer. Then I have two t-shirts. I've had these for quite a while. Classic black t-shirt and white t-shirt. Not much to say about them. And this is also a new piece in my wardrobe that I am very excited about. It is this ribbed mock neck top. And I was really hesitant about this color when I saw it online. I wasn't really sure about it. And I was gonna go with the black because they also had this available in a black. And I'm so glad that I did decide to go with this color. If you've watched my channel for a bit, you know that I have maybe a little bit of a dislike of a lot of style rules and you know supposed things that are flattering or not flattering. I really believe that you should wear things that you like and that you feel good in no matter what any kind of style rules tell you. I constantly find that I'm drawn to colors that supposedly aren't good for my skin tone and coloring that I absolutely love wearing. Depending on the lighting, it sometimes shows a little bit more green or a little bit more reddish. So I find it's a really nice, like almost versatile color. It kind of picks up on the colors around it. Next up, I have these two tops. So this is a very sweet crop top with these kind of puff sleeves. I think it's so beautiful. I'm so excited to get more wear from it now that the weather's warming up a bit. And then I also have this top, which is the matching top to the bottoms that I'm wearing. So I got this as a set. I realized that I really love a matching set because it offers so much more versatility as well as that kind of faux jumpsuit look. I also have the wrap top that I'm currently wearing, which is probably the piece I was most excited to pull out for spring. I love this top and it's reversible so you can wear it with a higher neckline or the V-neck. And then I have another lightweight long sleeve top and this linen button up. And finally for tops, I have this cotton sweater and this kind of sage green hoodie. And this cotton sweater was a new piece that I introduced in fall. I've worn it so much this fall and winter and I think it'll also be a really great piece for cooler summer days. So then onto bottoms, my two really comfy options are these leggings from Encircled and these dressy sweatpants from Encircled. These have been my absolute favorite pair of pants. I used to have these in both black and green, but this winter the black ones started to get a little worn out just because I wear them all the time and I've been wearing them straight for years. Whereas this pair I got new this year to kind of replace those ones and I'm sure I'm gonna get a ton of wear from them again. These are my go-to pants. And then I also have this pair of Tencel kind of loose jogger style pants and these plaid pants, which I sewed myself. These have been so fun to wear and they are a lighter material. So I think I'll be getting a lot more use from them in the summertime than I really have been during the winter. And then I also have the printed pants that I'm wearing, which match that same top. And so the reason I decided to do a separate spring and summer capsule wardrobe is I found previously I'll include a few shorts and some maybe more summery pieces, a few more tank tops in my spring capsule wardrobe, kind of in the optimistic hope that the weather will be really nice and warm and it almost never is. I live in Canada where it's quite cold and we often have a pretty long cool spring. So I just found I wasn't really pulling out and wearing those pieces until it was summer anyways. So it made a bit more sense to me to have some longer pants and a few longer tops instead of having more of those really summery pieces in my spring capsule. So between spring and summer, my capsule likely won't change too much except for replacing a few of the longer pants with shorts and some of the warmer tops with tank tops and maybe a couple more t-shirts. And let me know in the comments if you would like to see a summer capsule wardrobe video as well. 
Then for skirts, I have my long linen flowy skirt. Also love this skirt. I really like that I can warm this up with tights and wear it in the fall and winter, but it can also easily be worn in the spring and summer. So it's a great versatile piece. And I always feel so beautiful wearing it just because of the lovely like princess swish it has. I have two t-shirt dresses, this old favorite that has been in capsule wardrobes for ages and ages. If you've watched me for a while, you've seen this dress probably hundreds of times. And then this, a-line t-shirt dress that has a really unique shape from Tonlay, and this is a bit of a heavier fabric it's like a sweater knit so it's perfect as like a transitional season piece i have my flowy linen dress also from sans de Fleur, and i love it for very similar reasons to the skirt and this green linen dress from LA Relaxed, and this is also a newer piece to my wardrobe. I wanted a really just simple, casual dress, and I felt that this was perfect. I think it's gonna be fantastic for summer, and I'm also excited to play with some layering with it for springtime. So then onto layers, I have these two cardigans, which also have been in my wardrobes for ages. You guys have seen a ton of them, so I'm not gonna talk too much about them, but they're great neutrals and go with a ton of the pieces that I have. I also have this maxi robe, which was a another piece that I was so excited to get out for springtime. And that to me always feels so good is knowing that I love these pieces so much and having them kind of away for the season and taking them out and just having that excitement of knowing that I get to wear these pieces again and style them. And it's part of the reason why I keep doing capsule wardrobes is it almost makes pieces feel new again when you bring them out for the season. So this has a beautiful drape to it and also the print has a lot of colors which I already have in my capsule wardrobe so it goes with a lot and I'll see I might play with some print mixing we'll see and then I have this comfy hoodie from Tentry and this jacket which is a piece that I have not worn as much as I've wanted to it's a piece that I've had a very long time since before I started buying slow fashion. And I've had such a hard time getting rid of this piece because I love the cut and I love the design details, but I just don't wear it that much. And I think it's because it's white. I'm always afraid of getting it stained or dirty, but I've also contemplated dyeing it before and I just can't see myself liking it as much in a different color. So this is the season where I've decided that I'm going to have this prominent in my closet. I'm going to try to wear it as much as I can and I'm gonna finally make a decision on if I want to dye it or not. So those are the pieces in my spring capsule wardrobe and I will also very likely add a couple handmade pieces. I have a couple projects in my head that I really wanna make. If you are interested in seeing those, I will post them on my Instagram when they're done and I may also do a DIY video here. I haven't decided yet, but yeah, I'll for sure share them somewhere. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.